looks so technical now. We've got like things everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how the volume is going to be on it either, so this is going to be interesting. Right. Hello! I don't even know if we're live yet. I don't know if we're live. This I don't is know. going to be very... Funny. No, we're live on Facebook. I know that one. No. I can see that one. There are cameras everywhere. Okay. It's terrifying. Well, let me delete my own post. <laughs> So we've just been having howls of laughter for the last five minutes trying to That's sort this one out. Like Good evening and welcome to Craft Cave. Oh. Um, we are attempting tonight, thanks to the wonderful technical director that I have um, across from me, Sammy, to go live on YouTube as well, because I know a lot of people um, aren't in the group and want to see it. So we have been talking about trying to get live in YouTube. It being us, obviously... We decided this about 10 minutes ago. Actually, I, I don't even lie. Sam decided this about 10 I minutes ago. He just did it. So in front of me, I have a camera there. I have a camera just over there. I have my iPad in front of me so I can see it. Sam is sat opposite me on his laptop. There is more technology going on in the craft cave than we've ever had before. So good evening. Sorry, we are early tonight. So we normally go at seven o'clock on a Wednesday. As you know, we've gone on at six o'clock tonight. And there is a special reason, isn't there, Uncle Sammy? Leslie's on TV. Leslie. Um, Leslie. Oh, and LeBlanche's on now as well. And we're missing LeBlanche. <laughs> yeah, Sam will be shouting at you. Um, Sam works, uh, not my Sam, another Sam works for Blanche. Oh, no. At LeBlanche. No, no. And they, they're quite good friends. That. The hay is filled me and it's been a nightmare. Oh, right. Oh, dear. Sam's not even at the studio yet. Oh, right. So, <laughs> sounds like I've got loads to find out after this. Sorry, we don't normally gossip quite so long. Um, so, we're missing that. But the wonderful Leslie Lakin is doing a TV show tonight at 7 o'clock with Tutti Designs. Um, we want to watch and support her. We hope that you'll watch and support her. I've seen some of the samples. They're beautiful. And we really thought it was important that... Um, we didn't sort of do craft cave at the point where she was I have eight people on YouTube. oh hello youtube hello eight people on youtube hello so if you've not seen before we don't normally prattle like this so welcome to so craft cave on. live so i'm snapping his fingers congratulations to the people who won the prizes this week as you know we run a giveaway in our we give away the, that box as the live prize tonight yeah um, so we give away a live prize through the show, which we will be doing. We also give away, um, we choose projects of the week. We're back up and running with that. So Sam and I have both chosen those. I chose mine this week because I thought it was a brilliant use of what I'm always spouting on about and, and wittering on about, which is using lots of different things. So there was um, an embossing folder of mine and there was, a, there was um, some Victoria corners and there was a new flower and it looked wonderful all going together. Boring. So that was Maureen Glister, wasn't it? Because I picked it a couple of days ago and sent it to Sam. So well done, Maureen. If you haven't sent us your addresses, please send them in. I think Maureen has it flashed up on the screen, didn't it? So Sam's waiting for Lynn. Yeah, so I need to carry on. Right. So what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to be using the rectangle, the hexagon scene box. And we're going to be putting a scene in there with lights. Because so many people, as we get towards making Christmas cards, ask me, about putting lights in a card and there's a fantastic card which you'll see on the group um which is made by hazel bainbridge which is just inspired me to have a go at it so that's what i'm going to have a go at so i'm going to move my camera around so we're all ready for this sammy's already sorted on his end but i have to just now remember this one john i have to flip my camera so you've got to see sammy's face then put it back in painting. And that way you will see, there we go, perfect. You will see my crafting area. Cool, not quite even, but it's not bad actually, I'm not doing bad. Evening Jackie, she just, she just cut the box out ready for making a card. Right, so we're going to start by making our box first. So what I've used is, I've used the hexagon scene box die and I've already cut, just to make it a little bit easier, I've already cut the first panel out in black, so I'm going to flip my board over to the pink side, which I didn't clean. I did clean the black side. So I'm going to flick this over so that you can actually see the black on it. So we've got all of the pieces already cut. I've got this piece already cut. What I want to do is I want to make all of the folds. So I've put it onto its front and we've made all 
I want to make all of the folds. So it's just folding forward. And the reason is I'm going to cut an aperture in this. But if I don't make the folds first, obviously, I could lose those lines. So I've cut that in. What I'm now going to do is to use the die that comes in the set for the aperture, which gives you quite a fine border. So if I use this one, you're going to get a really fine border. And it's not a problem when we do it this way, because what we're going to do is we're going to work almost from the from the back to the front. So don't worry. So Jenny Newman says we're early tonight. Yeah, we did put a post out to say we'd be early tonight. So I'm just going to run that through and cut it. So I'm just going through my A4 die cutting machine just to cut that one. And while that's running through, I'll explain that what I've also cut, I had all the pieces ready, or so I thought. Yeah, there we go. Ah, never the best. So what I've also cut is one of the back pieces or the flap. Yeah. So I've got that one done. Is YouTube actually working, Sammy? Yeah. Wow. Ten to two people watching on YouTube. So you can watch on YouTube now. So if you have got anyone who's not in the group and doesn't want to join but wants to watch, they're now going to be able to watch on YouTube, which is useful. We're going to do this from now on then. I don't know. I'm going to look into it. Sam's going to look into it. So you can see now why I made those folds first, because it's quite a delicate ridge and I want to make sure that they're easily folded. So we're going to put most of our box together first. I'm using power tape, which as we know is the strong blue tape. Oops, I've lost it then. So, and I'm just going to put it out on the outside flap on four of them. So, I don't think a lot of people got the time change, did they? I did make it clear. Oh, no, I know you did. You did it. You've done it for two days. Yeah. So everyone will be tuning in at seven and going, where's Craft K? I see more of you on YouTube. Yes, you can actually. Oh, what, do they actually that, see a wider? view of YouTube. That looks better, actually. Mm -hmm. That's how you, that's the olden days how you do it. Ah. Time, didn't we? It is, yes. Yeah. So if you want a better view. <laughs> or oh, if, you, if you've got, if you get two screens or split screen or something, you can watch both. Yeah, you could actually put one on your laptop. Oh, I don't want one on that bit. Oh, well, no, oh, damn. On you could put one on your laptop and one on your phone or one on your tablet and one on your phone. You can watch in two different ways. Leslie's watching. Leslie, you're supposed to be getting ready. You've got a show in. You've got your meeting in a few minutes. So don't forget, Leslie Lakin will be on Crate and Craft at seven o'clock tonight. Watch her turn around and tell me I've got the date wrong and it's next week. And I've put two on the inside, Sammy's checks. It's two on the inside, two on the outside. I've got the back piece cut with the flap. And I'm just going to take the flap off. Okay. Just like that. Now, all I need to do is reveal my tape on my four sides. So I'm just going to take off the tape on all four bits. really simple. I'm going to marry the back up to one of those flaps. So we've got this double piece. Actually, this probably looks better on the um, side of the YouTube camera, doesn't it? You can probably see a bit better. So, and I'm just going to start putting the box together. Yeah, so fold the little flap in, tuck that one round and pull the two bits together. Okay. Just do the last side and that will give me the main structure of the hexagon box and just leave two flaps open. Now, the reason for that is if I don't leave those two flaps open, yeah, how am I going to get the box? How am I going to get anything in there? So that's what we actually do. So that's the point now where we've effectively made our box that's going to hold our scenes, it's going to hold our lights, it's going to hold everything. Yeah? Oh, I'm sorry you're still in hospital, Harkin. Bless her. She was in last week with her I asthma. She got rushed in, yeah, because of her um, fibromy fibromyalgia kicked off her asthma. I know, for me to remember something like that, that's very unusual. 
So what I want to do now is I'm going to make the background for the back and I'm going to use the sprays and make a background because basically I can. And it really, the more products I use, the more it annoys our Sammy. <laughs> so I'm basing it on this card. Yeah. So I'm basing it on the background I've made for this card, which is one I've recently been doing, done in a workshop. And I just wanted to show you how to make you know, the, a background that we can work like this. Now, obviously, you're not going to see a lot of it. But I think it's, you know, if I can chuck as much in as possible, it's great. Plus, I've got an hour to fill, haven't I? Just under an hour, Just under an hour so we need to be ready for Leslie. So I'm using the Craft Artist Shimmer Sprays and I'm starting with the yellow or the sunlight. Yeah, Carolyn, you can still get Maximum Crafts Art of Craft out the box. And I'm really soaking the top third in yellow, which is sun sunlight. Then I'm going in the middle with sky, okay? And again, I'm kind of soaking it. Then I'm going in with the mauve and the same again, I'm soaking it. And what I'm gonna do is hold that up I'm going to hold it up so that it all starts to drip. Yeah, and you'll see that the blue will start to mix with the yellow. And it gives me, I'm going to stop at that point actually, because I adore that one. So it gives me a really sort of Northern Lights, freaky looking, bright card. Now, I've got one already dried, so I'm not going to dry this a lot. But I did want to reassure you but you can force dry this. It's not like the usual, a lot of um, mica sprays sort of burn if you heat dry them. Don't worry, it doesn't. It's the first thing you tried, wasn't it, Sammy? But Sammy tried to burn it because he enjoys things like that. He, he liked fire. Um, but can you see, it's, it's a quick drying spray anyway, but it's drying very quickly. But just altering the colours on this, will make it look different every time. I'm just drying the main bit, so I want to show you another bit. Oh, Jackie was really ill last week with the heat because of her fibromyalgia. Yeah, grey board will take the sprays. The sprays, um, Trish, don't damage or soak into your card or paper. So it comes out, this is the one I'd already done, comes out completely flat when it's done because they sort of evaporate up so don't don't worry about what surface it's going on if anything have we tried it on acetate i don't know if we did it works on glass card but it probably resists a bit too much on acetate oh it works on tin yeah. Oh, fantastic. Who told us that one? Me, I did it. Oh, you did it. You did. I forgot. Yes, he did. Bless him. So, I'll take my box away. But you can see then, I just, I love that. And you could just do something as simple as I did on my original card, as put the, the deers over it. Yeah? And it would just look amazing. I'm almost tempted to peel those off, but they're too glued on to put it on. So, we've got that. Now... I've managed to get a little bit on the back because obviously my spray box is not completely clean. Is it Maxine Live at 6 o'clock as well? Oh, I never thought of that. I'm really sorry, oh, Maxine well. won't be watching. <coughs> oh, is it Maxine Live at 6 o'clock? Yeah, and she's live at every week at 6 o'clock, bless. Oh, wow. Oh, well, sorry, guys. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece I'd already got because this is 100% completely dry. Yeah, so I'm going to take one of the other other hexagons from the set, from, from the other sets. Now, there is there's the one that goes around the details, and there's the one that goes around the sections, and that's the largest one. So that's what I want to use. Now, obviously, my piece of card, because I'm going point side up for a change, yeah, isn't sort of big enough, but it doesn't matter because we can always cover it off. So, I don't know if I actually prefer that one. 
it's got more yellow in it. That might be more obvious. I do. So I'm going to go with this one. Sorry. The one I'd already done. So I'm just going to tape it down and cut it. It will make my die cutting machine a little bit coloured. But we'll live, won't we? So I'm just going to run that through to give me my background. We won't see much of this, but it's great to show as many techniques as we possibly can. I'm just running it through my collider. I don't know if Sarah's watched Assassin's Watch with Maxine on the iPad and you're on the phone. Oh, bless. Sorry. It's totally fine. But you can see here. There's ways around everything. There's ways around everything. To be fair, I mean, I've got an iPad in front of me and two phones and Sam's got a laptop. So, you know, these days we're all getting very, very technological. Technical or logical. Bala bala bala. Bablo. So, but you see there, I've got that beautiful pattern at the top. Now, it's not quite big enough. So, all we do is cheat, to be honest. So, I'm just going to take a piece of, I've got a piece of heavyweight 300 GSM card. And I'll cut another hexagon that's the right size and we'll stick our background on. If something isn't right, something doesn't work, cheat. I could have done. Yes, Anne said, could we not have? Just time saving. Yeah, time saving. Could have done that, but then that would have been me thinking and I wasn't thinking. A little bit of spray glue. So this is the basis now. And this will slide into our box and fit beautifully. You can see when we wrap it up, we've got that lovely. I just think the background looks so nice with that mica and that shine. Remember, the shine in the mica is not like you get in a lot of mica sprays where you get little drops of mica that will sort of sparkle. No, it's not overpowering. It's not overpowering because it's contained all the way through. It's all of it is shine. So you're turning it basically, your whole thing into pearl card almost. This, didn't someone say to you they were a bit disappointed there wasn't a lot more shine in it? Yeah. Um, and it it's wasn't... Not, it's not shiny. It's shiny. not shiny, shiny. That's why, that's why it's called a shimmer spray and not a shiny spray. It, this is what it was designed to do, is give you a beautiful pearl shimmer. So we've got our box. We've got our background. So now we need to start cutting our scenes. So I'm going to use the church scenes and the deer scenes and you may have the some of the other scenes i've done in the previous years like the village scenes the nativity scenes um you know, there's one of bethlehem and things so you choose whichever you want they all work in the same way and to make it easier i've cut my card so i've got white card and i've cut it to five inches wide guess what card i'm using is it coconut white then? It's coconut white. Yes, yeah, so I did the videos today, didn't I? And I was like... Oh, I used it in all of those. We have apple, we have coconut we have white. We have apple, like, coconut okay, white, we have field. No. But okay. So I'm just going to put... So I don't waste card. You can be careful. Who said this? Caroline. I just like that comment. I remember in the 80s seeing people with their mobiles the size of bricks. My husband and I thought, why would you want... One. Now, of course, we both have one and use it for all sorts of things. Yeah, my mum had one of the very early mobile phones for her car and it was literally massive. It's on Rabbit. You wouldn't have even heard of those, would you, Sammy? I don't know what a Rabbit is. No, it was, a tele it was the first sort of mobile network. Oh, no. Very, very long time ago. It's no. when I was a kid, so we're talking a long time ago. If you do have trouble cleaning your plates and you don't have a Sammy who very kindly, when I was at a show last week, Put all of mine through the dishwasher. And I actually managed to get your seat plate. And you got my C plate level out. Level out. Um, best thing to clean anything off anything. Antibacterial hand wash. Mine's from Aldi. Um, but yeah, whichever one you can get works brilliantly. And best thing for plates is as soon as they finish your dishwasher, put them straight under your machine. Right, yes. And to flatten them completely. Dry, of course, put them straight under your machine and it will flatten them even more. So what I'm doing is on my piece of card, so I've done those two across, I'm going to take the next two and I'm putting them against each other in the middle. Hello, Barbara. Barbara's watching. I hope you're well, Barbara. I know we don't reply often, but send us another update, babe. 
we like to know how you're doing. Sam can't do the comments because he's monitoring. Are people still watching on YouTube? Yeah. Has it gone down? 25. All right, I would have expected it to. Yeah, 25. Oh, thank you. Thank you if you're watching on YouTube. Can't comment on YouTube because... I'm not prepared. We're not prepared. We, things yeah, tonight. Sammy decided to do this literally at 10 to 6. So, you know, we're, we're just trying it out for everybody. But it is a good way to say, for those who don't, who aren't in the group, although join the group, you get far more in that and it's free. But I know a lot of people don't like to be on Facebook. So if you've got people who don't want to be on Facebook, they can join in the group. They don't have to join the group. They can actually just now watch on YouTube or certainly tonight. So all I'm going to do is cut these out of the card, which just means finishing the line. So I'm following on to the line. So there I've got my trees. Yeah, here I've got my deer and some Christmas trees. We'll go the other two. So here I've got my village scene. And more trees. So we'll just cut those out of the card the same. You need to think of a question, Sammy. No, I don't. Because I'm no good at it. I've used all the Where questions the I've got. Okay, right. So we're going to do a live giveaway, which means you need to comment on the Facebook, Facebook feed. Only. It's Facebook only. I'm really sorry. We will try to get it set up. But I was given last week an extra copy of my summer special, which sold out, didn't March's? it? Which was March's box kit. Mm -hmm. So this is worth fourteen ninety nine. We will send this out free and we will pick somebody at random. I'll get you to sign it. Who well. answers the net. And Sam says he'll get me to sign it. I find that so thingy. So we'll so the question is, what date? So what date does my next box kit launch? So we will pick at random somebody who answers that question at the end of the show and they will win that box kit. So if you've got it already, it's good for a friend, you know, good to keep hold of it. Oh, YouTube means I can watch on TV too, but yeah, because it's smart. If smart. Oh, if you've got TV, smart TV, you can watch it on yeah. TV. Nobody would want to watch me no, on TV. a lot of demonstrators and visitors are now moving to YouTube. It is. That's, yeah. That makes sense. That does make and sense. Trish, that's the wrong date, just to make you aware. <laughs> <laughs> come on trish have another go so i've got now my four scenes so i can decide how i want to arrange them but remember we said we're going to be putting some lights in so what's the matter all right so i've got these off ebay i know there's a lot of companies that sell these lights but uh, not off ebay off amazon i'm not saying but they're so cheap at the minute on Amazon. Get them off there, honestly. Don't buy the posh ones. They're no different. They've just got a different brand name on them. So I think these came... Were well, these about eight quid a set? No. And there's, they, they weren't that expensive, but they came in a really nice box. So they're random every time. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I got 14 sets. Yeah, you get more than that, I got two boxes. Two, four, six, eight, ten... Yeah, I think there's 14 sets or maybe more. Little screwdriver, all sorts. It was fab. So just make sure you test your lights before you do anything. 14. Yay, it works. So we're going to start with our background. So, oh, are they out of stock? Because everyone bought them. Yeah, the two meter ones are. Yeah. They've got three meter okay. ones. Okay. And they are 18 pounds. Right. So I'm going to decide where I want that one to go. So I think I'm happy with that there. Yeah, and I notice at the bottom... Um, your phone's died, I think. Has it? Mine. No. It's fine on Facebook. Oh, it's because it's not working. Oh, right. It's not working now. Yeah, so... Oh, I don't know what's happening. So what I want to do is Facebook to put some lights in. Oh. <laughs> what, on YouTube or...? Uh, no on uh, Facebook. Oh, right, OK. It's fine. Uh, two metres. Yeah. Yeah, we are from the front, So, <clears throat> they are two metres, yeah. So, I'm going to put some foam tape. OK. I remember you can actually cut them down as well. In three places. I think you can. I've got a spare one. Shall we try it? Yeah, but make sure lights are. Yeah. So, I'll make sure. So, I've got a spare one here. 
they work. Let's take some out, shall we? Yay! Yeah, so you, can. you can cut them down. Yeah, hey, that's useful to know. It's a waste. I did think you could. It is a waste, but if you only want a few, it's better to cut some out. So I've put three lines of foam tape on here. Yeah, I'm going to reveal the first one. And I'm basically going to put lights in this first one. And what I'm trying to do is I want them to be behind these trees. Yeah. So I want them to be behind the trees. I don't want them to show at the front, but nice and secured. So let's go and we'll put the last one in. And if I need to put two sets of lights in here, I will. So there we go. So they're nice and secured in. Okay, they're not going to pop up off the top. So I'm going to reveal the rest of the foam tape off the next two strips. And I'm going to put that down where I want it, which is about there. Okay, we can test it by switching our lights on. And you see it's sort of shining up or it's shining out. So now I just need to turn this over. And now you have to be careful. I don't want to cut that wire. If I cut that wire, they'll stop working. So I'm going to trim out, yeah, the pieces. So that it fits exactly on, there we go, my piece. And there's my first box, first light se section done. Let's move that light a little bit. Okay, so let's turn that off. So next I've got the next section and I'm going to put some deer into this now. So I'm going to have the deer going in there. Now, obviously, I want the lights in. So I'm going to do the same thing again, but a little bit differently. Same thing again, but a little bit differently. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, does it at all? How are we doing on the competition? Oh, you can't see, can we? So don't forget what date... Does the box kit launch on Create and Craft? Yeah. So what date does the box kit launch on Create and Craft is this week's question. So obviously, oh, scissors. the lights are going to go this way. Scissors. What are they? Ikea, five pounds, 10 inch. Ikea, 10 pounds. Loads of people, five pounds, sorry. Loads of people have been asking me that. Some best scissors I've had in ages. And you You've bought me loads, haven't you? That I've treat them very well. I treat them terribly. They really do need an anti-glue thing at the minute. So I know this, what I'm doing is, can you see I'm doing this right next to it? And the reason is I need to be able to turn that over for the lights to be in the right place. Yeah. Now, do a little sneaky one here. I'm going to take a little bit of foam tape and just pop it on the back of these trees because if I don't, they're going to flop forward. So I'm doing the same thing again. Attaching the lights. I mean, I could even go up into the trees if I want to. Because you can see where each little light is. So I'm just putting the lights on same way all the way through. Yeah, let's go. And let's go for one. Oh, should we have one more, actually? Let's have one behind this tree. And I've gone for white light, haven't I? Not warm light on these. There are some options you can get, like. I think there's several different ones where you're also. There, there's so many different sets, but I'm using a white light one. So carry it off. So, same thing again. I've put my lights on. Let's just check they're still working. Yep. Okay. Reveal our tape. And move it on. So, not the easiest, but I've shown you, there's loads of videos I've done on YouTube that show you the easier way to put lights in. This time, I wanted to show you a little bit more complex way to put lights in. So, again, now I'm going to Take those down. Okay. Yeah. Check the lights again. 
so it's showing everywhere okay turn it over obviously make sure i don't cut that wire if i cut that wire i've had it and trim out you cut the wire that would be the end of yeah. it yeah it would be the end of it so you know spend a little bit of time that's why i like this set because they got a screwdriver in so you can actually change batteries because i would sacrifice another set to put the battery in this one if these went out to be honest so you can see now i've got two sets yeah so i've got two sets but i'm going to put a third one in so i'm going to do the same thing again we're going to have some little trees in again coming forward so follow the same maneuver Under my table must be covered and so thick now with with foam tape. So I take these two off this time. So once again, you see I'm going to be doing it on this side now because this is going to fold over that way. So the same thing again. Working the lights in. around here and the foam tape i know people some a lot of people will use um oh what to call it hot glue for lights i just i burn myself i'm sorry i really would half an hour thank you julie so what half an hour all oh, right thank you julie yeah so <coughs> And again, I'm just going to then fold that one over. Put it in the right place. I mean, obviously, I'm doing it a lot quicker than you would do at home. Fold those in. Fold that one in. And we trim off again. the lights yeah so you see now no it's shining up all of them sam's looking at it gone out as if i'm crazy yeah, so I've got two screens up and back, right? sam's trying to work it out bless him you are turning into a producer stroke director aren't you yeah, the box is quite deep, isn't it? it is deep yeah it's actually half an inch mm -hmm. it's about 10 millimeters so it's just off half an inch so the next one, I'm going to plan where I want to put it, okay? And the reason is I need to make sure now I don't put any lights in the wrong place. So on the revert, I've put it where I want it to go. I've turned it over so I can draw, okay? So that is where I've got to put my lights or anything else. So I need to be very careful. Sorry? No, it's on the back. It's fine. Don't worry. I thought I had at first, but I'm not panicking. Going I can see on that. Yeah. So, hello, if you're watching on YouTube. I feel like I've got to keep saying that. It seems really strange. No. Sam says I don't, so it's fine. Okay. No, it's so, yeah. So we can't currently see comments on YouTube. Hopefully, if we no, do it again, we'll... No one can comment on YouTube. Oh, can't they? Click the button. Oh, right. Yeah. Sam's clicked a button. Yeah, so what I can do now is I'm going to have to go on this side. And the same thing again, leave a little bit of space and then we're just going to put our lights in. So doing the same again, fixing our lights. I think you do struggle on your first one, don't you? And you, you, the lights. you do. You, you, you do. You, you almost waste an entire set of lights on your first time. And then you get it. And then it suddenly clicks into your head. And don't ask me why. It just does. So I'm going to move that one along. Okay. So now can you see I'm just moving all these wires. Because I want, I want them to be within the sort of stuck zone. So I'm going to take the foam tape off, I'm going to put it, stick it down, and I want to secure these. So I'm going to put a double layer of foam tape because it can be a little bit bright, more forward at the front. 
and make sure you're using lights that are designed for card and paper. <laughs> yeah. And instead of cutting it on, I'm going to cut it roughly to the line I've drawn. Because if I don't, I'll put it in the wrong place. Okay. Okay, let's just check our lights again. Yeah. And then let's just pop our last piece on. So it would help if I took the sticky off the tape, wouldn't it? You see there, let's come out of that. So there, we've got our lights shining up. I love the way they shine up behind the church. I'll put it that way. Just so. So YouTube people can Bit see. Lower. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to twist that wire behind. Okay. I'm taking this to the top. And we're going to slide this into our box. But you see now, all that wires, all the foam tape, everything is basically hidden by the box. So we framed it. Yeah. I've left enough for this to hang outside. So that's hanging outside. Pop my little tab in, turn my lights off for the minute, and we're just gonna close our box. Everything all right? Yeah. Cool. So I'm just gonna tap my little tabs in, pop the little tab in there, and just fix the back. I've missed a tab. So cut it off. No one will notice. No one else will know. I'll have to look at that one. Let's pop that one in. There we go. So there we've got our box with our really nice sort of almost exotic night sky. So what, turn it that way? Yeah. And then you can turn it the other way and go up. With our night sky. Oh, hi, Maxine. With our bits on. Yeah. So. Maxine would be very proud of Maxine. So turn it off. So, obviously, I don't want that just to sit like that. So, we are going to mat and layer it. I've got 10 minutes, Sammy's just told me. So, I want to fix it onto a card. So, let's grab a card blank. You know, that's what I need to order from crafts too. <laughs> Six and seven and eight inch card blanks. Did an order today and forgot to order them. I have been eating these things. Absolutely love them. It saved me so much time. Oh, brilliant. I've got some more. Oh, Sam. You're in... you, you put these in there for a reason. I know, but I keep a draw down here of the open packs. I forgot I've got full packs. Yeah. So I want to balance this white. So I'm going to grab a piece of white. Okay, and I'm going to cut it to six by six. I'm going to grab a piece of black. I'm going to cut that to six and an eighth by six and an eighth. Yeah, so that I've got panel for it to fit onto okay and if you notice one of the predominant colors in this is this yellowy color yeah or there's the purple or there's the tealy color so i could choose one of those so i'm going to choose i'm going to choose the yellow i'm going to go with our new sunshine so i'm going to add a layer of that on so I'm cutting that to six and a quarter <laughs> by six and a quarter. When do the videos go live, Monkey? Well, I can't do anything because I've got the codes, can I? What codes? Like J and D, oh. blah, blah, blah. Yes. And the actual names because... Because I use all sorts of names. And also because the something you told me was Prescott is actually under John next door. 
I wondered why you'd said press cut. Yeah, did you? Did I tell you they were press cut? No, yeah. those sentiments are mine. Can you imagine? I bet everyone can imagine my. Yeah. My naughty words sort of coming out. Is of my that? Mouth. Is that why you were in such a foul mood earlier? I've always been a foul mood. Oh, honestly, you could have been chewing glass earlier, guys. Ooh. Just living with you. <laughs> yeah. So I've just put that little bit of yellow on. Okay. Someone's laughing. Two people are laughing. It's true. It is very true. There was a camera in that office. Yes. Yeah. My gosh. Okay. No, I don't like it when you do this. You don't like you prefer it just left as a box, no, don't, don't you? No, I don't like it when you when you have the three layers, the different wire. colour. No, because I'm going to show you how to get around that. Yeah. What we're actually going to do oh, is yes, and oh, that's good. what good. that's what I plan to do because I keep being asked. No, 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 no. I did. No, I did genuinely because it's the one thing I get asked a lot about is the wire always wrapping round. Yeah. So I'm just going to foam mount this on. I'm very impressed with you. Though. Yes, it was all planned. So I'm going to foam mount this on. And you might, because you wonder why I'm not doing another layer because it's a bigger card. And so normally I would have a second layer on this. I don't want to go through too much card. So. We just reveal the tape. Oh, there you go. It's, it's Jackie, so it's the weather. Oh, it's the she weather. Mood for no yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the weather. Yeah. Actually, that just happens to me. Like when it's a change in temperature. I oh, it does. Right Honestly. Honestly, it's, oh, it, it, right it's, I've, I've always said he has PMT, but I yeah, I think he does. So, for no reason. okay, so I'm going to open my card out now. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to pop this on. Okay. Where I want it. Take a pencil and I'm just, and use a pencil because you can rub it out. I've marked the point where my wire comes through. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to go in from that and down a little bit. Yeah? There. Okay. Because I need to slide my battery pack in. Oh, being hangry is an yeah. absolute real thing. Oh, being hangry is goes without saying. I have that on a daily basis. So I'm going to use a knife. And I'm going to take this wedge out. I know there's probably more efficient ways. This is the way I always do it. Because no one's going to see this because that's the corner of the box. So if you look, watch. You're not going to see it. And I can cover by putting another piece on the back. But that way... Now I'm trying to go through so much card, obviously. Four layers of black layers. Yeah. And the black I have at the minute is 350 GSM. There we go. So now, glue on the back. Always wet glue. Don't use tape and stuff for this. It will secure it better, but also I need the wriggle room because that battery pack now is going to feed through there. Yep, look. So it feeds through. Okay. Then I can put it on evenly. And once I'm happy with it, I can move it around and manoeuvre it until I'm happy. And now my battery pack is on the inside. Yeah, now I tend to do this. Take, take a piece of ticky tape and sticky tape it in. This can be hidden by an insert. But you want to, with a card like this, I think you're going to want to change the batteries. So we switch it on. We turn it over and there we go. We've still got a little bit of wriggle room because we've got time. And again, you'd spend that little bit more time getting it neat at home. Now, this is pushing forward a bit. So, a little bit of foam tape. I'm just going to pop this through. So I should have put a little bit of glue on the back, really. There we go. Oh, no. I didn't get the tape on. <laughs> I thought I'd pulled the back off, and I didn't. See, it cheers up now. When he can laugh at me getting something wrong, he cheers up. <laughs> yeah, that's standard. Okay, that's that's hashtag standard. Oh, yeah. We, 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 were just, we were howling before this came on. 
But you see there, I'm going to turn the light out and really annoy him now because this really gets him. So I need to give it a second to adjust. Jesus. Oh. Okay, it's, it's dark. Very bright, those lights. Yes, yeah, so the lights are very bright. Oh, they are bright. Yeah, it totally different it doesn't look screen. like in real real life. Okay, can you turn the lights off? I better turn the lights back on. It looks like a plane's light. But in like real life, it's they're not that bright. They're really affecting on the cameras. But what we've actually done then is we've got all those layers, but we've got lights shining up the back and lights shining between each individual layer. You're seeing a better colour there, actually, with the lights on. And we've just reflected that yellow that's in there onto it. So I'll move that round a little bit so the guys on YouTube can see that. Okay. And that almost looks like a carnival. But I absolutely love this. So all we've used are the seam dies and the box and everything else. Are we finishing? Are we... Yeah, we've got to finish, Alex. Everyone needs to get ready. Everyone needs to get ready for less. And then we pick winners. So, so Sam, do you want to pick a winner while I'm waffling? Emma Woods. Oh, Emma Woods. Well done, Emma Woods. So, Emma, if you message Sam or I with your address. name and address. Not name and address. Well, address, but we won't want, just want a random address. We want to know it's come from Emma. Just send us your address, Emma. We will get the box kit sent out to you. It's the summer special, remember, you're it's not, not getting... It's not a new one. Um, the new one giveaways might start next week. It might that. do. Oh, Sam I, has. Everyone can have a sneaky peek. There you go, you can hold that. Can I hold that? Sneaky peek. I know, I just want to make sure I can catch it on here. Yeah. And also, to be fair, I actually have a sneaky peek of some of the papers and... Oh, look at... I love those. I don't everyone's going to get bombarded with images they are going to get bombarded with images the papers in here are, are okay. my favorites sorry i could keep yeah i i've just you know thank you when you just get so proud of something and there's even some of our holiday pictures in there aren't there sammy taken by you oh yes there is there are <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um but hopefully that's given you some ideas of what you can do Again, some backgrounds with the sprays, but how we'd put lights into the hexagon card and take a little bit more time at home. But then you could really decorate this up with some flowers or something, balance that background, leave it all white. There's so much you can do. That just looks like a holiday shop to me. It really, really does. So as for the next week, um, we've got a weekend. Have we got a weekend off? Yes. We have. Thankfully. Yes. We, we've not got any shows this weekend. That never Anything. And then the weekend after, we've got a workshop we, of Valerie. Weekend <laughs> after, we are going. If anyone's into glass fusion or wants to learn all about it, Sam and I are going to a workshop at Ali Reeves on the... Sixth. Sixth. I've got breakfast with Pauline and Thingy the day before as well. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. No, I know. I arranged it when I was there last week. It's on the... Look, it's, it's there. It's on the calendar. Be fast. Be fast. Be fast. With the Wooster and the Duck. Um, so we're going to a workshop then on the 6th. Um, I will be back launching the box kit. So the last box kit of this year. And it's the last box kit to have been designed so far, isn't it? We've not even talked about we're next year yet. We've not even discussed whether we're doing them next year or not. So at the moment, it's the last one. There is a full collection that goes with it. Some beautiful sentiments. Sam's bells. And there is a new, as you know, I've done a Sam's die every year. And Sam has actively been involved in the design of every... I put them away so you can't. I have hidden to them. Um, I have put them away so that... Oh, that's why I'm not as keen on that one. I quite like that Do one. Do you like that one? Yeah, there you go. That mixes the papers. Um... Sam's actively been involved in the design of this, as he is when I put his name on it. So Sam's Bells is in there. Beautiful new sentiments. New bells. New bells. Oh, yeah, new bells are in, aren't they? Yeah. Um, um, there is a new wreath frame. It, it, there's beautiful things all together. So that is launching. There's also... I know Sam's trying to press it now. There is obviously, there's an exclusive die with the magazine when it's bought, box kit when it's bought on Create and Craft. And there may also be, I may be five, mightn't I? a free gift. So there might be a free gift, which is an exclusively designed die. And it's limited in numbers. And it is limited in numbers, and yes. And it's only available during the live shows. And it's only available and during the live shows, and it's one per customer, customer. per order. No, it's one per customer. It's one per customer, so it doesn't matter if you make 15 orders, you will only get one. 
and it will allocate it to your order. It will say, it will show a picture or... Yeah, it will be allocated to your order um, because we don't have spares. We have a limited number of them. We have um, high quantity. We, have, we do have a lot. We, we do well. have, we, we, we have... Very you know, the top point. there is a, there's, there's more than a grand, isn't there? Let's say <laughs> more than a, more than a thousand. there is more than a thousand of them. Um, but that's a free gift again that's going to be available when you make a purchase on that show for the birthday because we'll be celebrating the fact that Jelly Baby Sam is five years old. No, Can you not, believe it's five I years? Sam will not be appearing. Sam will not be appearing. That is not a guest thing. So that's Monday night. So that's next Monday at six, <coughs> six and nine. But also, and Tuesday at 10 and 2. Monday. But also, Monday at 2 p.m. on Craft Extra. Watch it online. Online YouTube. Online YouTube or the red button on your thing or on Sky, because we watch it on Sky, Sky don't we? Not free. Sky, uh, free sat. Free sat. Um, we have got one of the... Remember, if you remember the old Crafts 2 warehouse clearance shows that we used to do with the mega deals... We've got one of the, we've got an hour of absolutely amazing mega deals. You're going to be sneaking peeking some of them, aren't you? Yes. Um, hi, mother. I did try and yeah. call you back. Hi, mother. Have you, has she phoned you? She phoned me. I was like half asleep. Yeah. I it, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it just didn't answer the phone because he's in a foul. He was been he was in a foul mood, Alison. <laughs> oh, I've got the finger then. Right. right. So, um, if you can, it'll be really, really worth um, switching over to Crate and Craft now. Ready for Leslie on at seven o'clock. Um, I'll be there at six. I'll be there at two o'clock on Craft Extra on Monday, and then I will be back on there at six o'clock on the main channel on Monday night to launch the John Next Door birthday. And also, um, we'll be back next Wednesday, won't we? And hopefully, thanks to Sammy's new technology on YouTube as well. I might. Yeah. So thanks for joining us, guys. Well done, Emma. We'll get your prize out.